Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines down here on Port Phillip Bay in Melbourne on a great day and I'm here with Angelo San Giorgio from Whitley Boats and Angelo this is a great looking Whitley you've got us in today can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah this beast of a boat is actually our CW2150 it's the largest boat in our CW range. CWs for those who aren't too familiar with it is Whitley's entry level boating package um, starts off with a diminutive little 1580 runabout um, goes all the way through to a 19 footer and this one the 2150 is the flagship of that range. Um, this thing's powered by one of the Yamaha's 154 strokes. It's actually running now and it's an incredibly quiet motor isn't it? It's one of my favourite engines. It, it's tons of grunt um, but very very economical and it's it's a really refined motor. A few years old now but it's it's one that Yamaha should keep in the range for a while yet. Um, tell us a little about this customer's particular setup. Obviously Whitley as a factory interacts with the customer to get the boat exactly right for them. Can you tell me some unique parts about this boat that the customer set up for their uses? Well, for, for a start, the boat was always going to be sitting in a marina. So, um, and sometimes it would be sitting in a pen, other times it would actually be sitting on a swing mooring. So what we did was we made sure we reinforced the bow rails um, and also the bow rail mounting points. We also reinforced um, the bow eye so that when he was tying it onto a swing mooring on a snub, in a strong breeze, you never have to worry about it pulling loose. Um, it also helps alleviate gel coat cracking in those areas as well. Um, it's, uh, the boat was built for a father and son team, um, James and John Hawkins. Um, so it was very important that the boat suited both their needs. Um, John's, um, I wouldn't call him a senior gentleman, but um, John's been around for a few years and knows what he wants in a boat. And what he didn't want is anything that was too fussy. We were originally trying to sell him a cruiser and he knocked that over after looking at all the upholstery and all the extra trimmings. This, it's lots of shiny fiberglass. So at the end of the day, all he has to do is go over it with a hose and she's clean. Um, in particular, what uses are these guys going to use it for? Is it for fishing? Is it for just general relaxing boating? What's it for? The boat's designed to do a little bit of everything. Um, we reinforced the rear cleat so the guys could put a bridle on there and tow um, kids or adults on skis and tubes. Um, we fitted it with one of our um, fiberglass bait boards um, and a set of rear rod holders so that they could use it for fishing. They're not hardcore fishermen, but what they wanted to do was try it all and work out what they liked before they started adding things like fixed rod holders and so forth to the boat. Um, if you wanted to use this as a trailer boat, obviously it's trailable. Um, what sort of car would you need to tow a rig like this? Despite its six and a half metre length um, or close to seven metres on trailer, it's easily towed with anything from a Ford Falcon, uh, Commodore or any compact SUV. You don't need anything too large, but I will warn you, it's a bit tall to get into most garages. Um, it's a great entry level big boat. If you've had a small boat, you want to get into a bigger boat that you can maybe take more people out on the water with, maybe go out further fishing and chase some of those bigger snapper, this would be the ideal craft, wouldn't it? Absolutely. It's great in the bay when it roughs up, but it's also capable to head 50 or 60 k's offshore. Um, these guys are just getting their uh, sea legs together before they start heading off towards um, Portland in a couple of months' time. So, Angelo, I noticed there's some fairly unique seat bases in this boat. Tell us all about those. Normally this boat used to come with a pedestal base. You'll probably still see um, the little base mount. What the guys wanted was something that could actually accommodate a free join esky. Hence, we've built them um, a rollover hoop using um, Relaxin's new rollover adjustable hoop bases and also the um, Relaxin seats with the adjustable seat bolsters. Um, the seats and the bases come from Sam Allen Wholesales, a company that we've got quite a close relationship with and they also supply us, interestingly enough, our switch gear which is touch screen and doesn't have any fuses. Yeah, it's a very slick setup, and by solving that problem, you can't—you don't just get one esky, and you can get two eskies in here. So that's adequate for any sort of overnight trip, isn't it? And for a shorty like me, they've even included a foot rail. What sort of price would it be on a trailer? Um, the basic package with um, a McKay trailer, Tanner McKay trailer, mechanical brakes, um, the 154 stroke um, stainless steel rocket launcher, front and side clears, bilge pump, a radio, stereo under seventy thousand dollars so great package for someone wanting to get into a an, into a bigger fiberglass boat uh, where can they go for more information um, head off to whitley.com.au or um, hit up our facebook page like us and we'll be sure to send you more information on this and all our other boats great it's a great day today on port Phillip bay and i'm looking forward to taking this girl for a spin